All right, so we've got a solid generated. We want to find out the volume if we wrap it around the y-axis and the x-axis. So these will require two different approaches. I'm going to start with the x-axis. Well, it's listed as the first one. So we're going to use pi times r squared. Um, if you look here, our r is going to be the 4 minus x squared. So it's going from 0 to 2. And do that. So it's going to be um, integrate from 0 to 2. And because we're integrating 4 minus x squared squared dx, we get pi. We get, um, actually it's not done yet. So we're 0, 2. This ends up being x squared. I always put the largest, oops, I always put the largest portion first. Minus 8x squared. And then plus... 16, yeah. So x to the fifth over five minus eight over three x cubed plus 16x from zero to two. All right, so pi times, well, zero ends up being at nothing because when you multiply zero across all these, you get nothing. So it ends up being pi times 32 over five minus eight times eight, 64 over three plus 32. And what you end up with is equal to um, 256 pi over 15 or approximately 53.6. Okay, um, all right, so continuing on. Um, so this is the solution for wrapping it around the x-axis. So um, over here, doing it like this. But now I'm gonna flip it around the y-axis. So this is just different. You're gonna solve, or you're gonna set this up so um, y you get, um, you get it in terms of y, so you're going to get, um, well, let me put it this way. Um, x is going to be equal to, because we divide through by uh, negative 1, and then we add, and then we um, add 4, so we get uh, x is equal to the square root of 4, oh, excuse me, let me do it this way. x squared, square root of 4 minus it's not even right. 4 minus y. And now we take the square root. And then we get x is equal to the square root of 4 minus y. But the other thing you need to do, they don't specifically state where this intersects. You just need to figure out, um, well, where does y equal 0? When y equals 0, um, oh, excuse me, how do you get uh, x equal to 0 or get it there? y has to equal 4. So your integral terms are going to be um, 0 to 4. So starting over here at the right, I'm going to integrate from 0 to 4. And it's still the same concept. So it's it's the square root of 4 minus y squared. So we get 4 minus y dy. And once integrated, we get pi 4y minus y squared over y from 0 to 4. All right, so we get 16 minus 16 over 4, which is 4. Oh, I'm talking about, I need to watch my handwriting. This is a 2. 16 divided by 2, which is 8. And then 0 just cancels all that out. So what we end up with is 8 pi or 25.13. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. And this is for terms of uh, wrapping around the y-axis. Hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.